Thanks for joining us again at Bahamian Mathematics. Today we will be creating bar graphs using data in a frequency table. Let's see how that works. Let's imagine we had a survey that asked what is our favorite color car? And we had a whole host of answers like this. Looking at the answers we can see that blue, black, red, silver and white there are various answers that various people gave but it's hard to understand how to interpret this information. We can use this information and organize it better in a frequency table and then draw a bar chart based on this data. So let's see how that works specifically. To create a bar graph we need to look at the frequency table first and here it is which has been organized by color and the number of cars and then the frequency. And the first thing we do is we determine how many categories there are we can see that white, red, black, blue, silver, and green, there are six categories. Then we determine the highest and lowest numbers in the frequency table. Then we label the X and the Y axis. And finally, we just draw the bars from bottom to top usually by looking at the axis. So let's give an example of how that can work. Look at the table. We can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six categories, six different colors of car, and we will put them along the bottom. Then we will see what numbers do we need now going on the y-axis. We can see that we have 13 as our smallest number, and 43 is the largest number, and so we need a scale that includes 13 and 43. So we're going to start with 0 and go in increments of 5s up to 50. That should enable us to use the number 13 and to locate the number 43 on this chart. And now we put favorite color at the top and we start one by one with white. And we see there are 13 responses for white. And on the graph, on the y-axis, we locate 13. 13 is found between 10 and 15, somewhere around here, and we draw the white bar going from 0 up to 13. And we're finished with white. And now we move on to red. And we can see that red was 21 responses. We locate 21 on the graph, which is between 20 and 25, just a little above 20. And we draw the line like that. And we draw red going from 0 up to the 21 location. We move now to black. There are 37 responses. And again, on the y-axis, we find 37. It's going to be between 35 and 40, somewhere around there. And if we draw a line straight across, we can see that we draw the bar up to it. And now this is our bar representing the black choice. And we move again to blue, which is 27. Again, 27 is between 25 and 30. And if we extended a line across, there is our blue bar. Moving to silver, which is 43, that's going to be between 40 and 45 on the graph. And if we extended a line straight across, we go all the way up to meet the 43 mark. And that is our silver bar. And lastly, green is 16. On the graph, that's going to be between 15 and 20, a little above 15. If we extend the line across, we can draw the bar up to that point, And that is our bar that represents green. And so now we have our bar graph where we have taken the numbers in the frequency table. We have found the location on the graph and we have drawn bars from zero up to that number. And we can see now a visual of the data which allows us to make some interpretations a little better than just having those results scattered on a piece of paper. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share to this channel to see more videos just like this one. And now it's time for our quiz. Which fruit was liked the most in the chart below? Time's up. The fruit that was liked the most is the bar that is the tallest. And we can see that that is bananas with eight responses. Question two. How many votes did Wendy's get in the chart below? Time's up. If we look at Wendy's, which is the red bar, we can see that it hits the number 60. And so our answer is 60 votes. Number three. 
Which two subjects got less than 10 votes? Time's up. If we look at 10 on the graph, here's 10. We draw a line. We would identify which two subjects were below that line. We can see that it's math and language. Those are the two subjects. Number four, which pizza topping got 100 more votes than bacon? You have five seconds. Time's up. Bacon got 150. And 100 more votes than that would give us 250. And if we look across, we can see that is mushroom. And our final question, what is the difference in votes between bananas and mangoes? You have five seconds. If we look on the graph, we see bananas is 100 and mangoes is 20. And the difference between 120 is 100 take away 20. Difference means subtract. 100 take away 20 is 80. And now you've solved the mystery of how to create bar graphs. Well done.